Hello friends, today we are going to study about CBSE class 9th chapter number 1 number system. Introduction. Before starting this chapter, first you should know what about what are natural numbers, whole number, integers and all that numbers that you had learned in pre previous standards. So first of all, what are natural numbers? We know numbers starting from 1, 2, 3 up to infinity are called natural numbers. Now whole numbers. If we add 0 in it, then this will become 0, 1, 2, 3 up to infinity. That is whole number. Now integers. If we add negative numbers in this, then again that will become uh, start from infinity, minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2, up to infinity. Means you can say all the positive number, negative number and 0. That is integers. Now what are rational numbers? This also you had learned in your previous standard that what are rational number any number that can be represented in the form of p by q where q should not be equal to zero then that numbers are called rational number this all things you had learned in your standard eight now in standard ninth you are going to learn one more thing or one more type of number that is irrational number there is no perfect definition for irrational number. But we can say the numbers which are not rational, the numbers which are not rational are called, which are not rational are called irrational numbers. And then at the last real numbers, all these numbers together means natural, whole, integer, rational, irrational, all together this number will make real numbers. So all the above numbers will come in real number. This all are actually real numbers. So this is the basic thing that you should know. After studying this, you can start your exercise number 1.1. .1. So we are going to solve exercise number 1.1. .1. Question number 1. Is 0 a rational number? Can you write it in the form of p by q where p and q are integers and q not equal to 0? Yes, 0 is a rational number. We can write it in the form of 0 by 1. Actually, it is 0 upon 1. So, 0 is a rational number and you have to represent it as 0 by 1. Question number 2. Find 6 rational numbers between 3 and 4. There are two methods I am going to solve by both the methods. Answer number 2. Look here. 3 and 4 is given to you and they told us to find 6 rational numbers between 3 and 4. So what we are going to do? We are just going to put the denominator 1 and then we are going to increase this number on both the sides. So that will remain the same. How we can increase? By multiplying both the numerator and denominator with 10 on both the side. So this number will become 30 by 10 and this becomes 40 by 10. Now we can find out the numbers between these two. Yes, 31 by 10, 32 by 10, 33 by 10 up to 39 by 10. So these are the rational numbers between 3 and 4. One more method is there. In that method, you have to just follow this a plus b divided by 2. This method is called mean method. What you have to do? You have to just add that two number and then divide by 2. And this way you have to go on. Look here, I am giving you, tell you how to do. 3 plus 4, a plus b. And then divide by 2. So 7. And this division will become multiplication and reciprocal will happen. So if I want to convert this division into multiplication, this will become 1 by 2. So 7 into 1, 7 by 2. So you got one number between 3 and 4. Then you have to write like this, 3, 7 by 2 and 4. Now again you have to follow this rule, a plus b divided by 2 means 3 plus 7 by 2. Then divide by 2. 
but this is in fraction this is simple number so what you have to do you have to take out LCM and this will become 6 plus 7 by 2 and here this was 2 by 1 so it into 1 by 2 so this will become 13 by 4 now 3 13 by 4 7 by 2 and 4 now you can add these two and find out then the next number which is coming or you can add these two and find out the number between this. This way you have to go on doing and finding 5 rational number with this method. Now moving towards question number 3. Find 5 rational numbers between 3 by 5 and 4 by 5. Same way what we had done it here you can do by both that method here also same way question number four state whether the following statement are true or false give reason for your answer question number one every natural number is a whole number we can see it every natural number is whole number because all the natural numbers are coming inside the whole numbers so we can say every natural number is a whole number if somebody tells you every whole number is a natural number then your answer is false but here your answer is true now second question every integer is a whole number every integer is a whole number no because we can see negative are integers but that will not come in whole numbers so every integer is not a whole number so this is question 2 is false question 3 every rational number is a whole number no negative we, we know that negative numbers can be also rational but in whole number negative numbers are not coming so we cannot say that every rational number is a whole number so this answer is also false thank you so much for watching my video if you like it please subscribe to my channel in my next video i am going to explain you about exercise 1.2 thank you so much